Phew. It's well done. What's going on, people? Man, I've been dying to get up here. Um, just a lot going on. Work. Work. Um, that's, that's a lot of it, honestly. Um, and just family life. But, um, anyway, so here it is, Father's Day. And I am up here getting the work done that I've been wanting to for a while here, and I need to get done. Because if I don't get it done now, um, we're going to be getting pretty busy here soon. July's a busy month. Um, I got a couple big jobs in July I got to do. A uh, fishing trip to Lake Ontario. Um, concert. And getting all the other rest of the deer stands that need to be taken care of, taken care of. Um, and then we're going to roll right into August bear baiting, and then just from there it goes right into hunting season. So, this stuff up here has to get done. So, I got to uh, put that step in, because it's quite a, quite a drop down, and you tend to uh, kind of forget that when you're leaving in the evening, and you come down hard, it makes quite a thump. So, I got that there. <clears throat> Cut the wall back up, and what I did was instead of using the two by four, I had a two by four going from here to that oak. Um, I had everything zip tied to that two by four, but instead of using that, I just put a rope in, give it some more flex because this shack does a lot of moving, heaving uh, when the frost is coming in and, com and coming out. So that'll give it some more flex, and that stuff should stay up now. That's the theory behind it anyway. We'll see. And then uh, I finally got the shack blocked up. That was uh, definitely necessary. She's a lot more solid now. It was tilted right back. Big time. But she's good to go now. At least for, at least for this fall it is. And then... Built this new path. To get into the shack in and out and right out there is the main road coming in so nice little path I just made a lot easy. they're never gonna see us coming and going now so this is this is how you enter the shack right here um, I do gotta fill that in and I'm going to have to build some kind of a wall here because those leaves will be gone in the fall. And that means anything in that strip will be able to see you. So I need to do something here. I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to figure something out. Some kind of a wall. I'll probably make a wall that goes all the way across to the shack. And then I'll take care of that whole side right there. But other than that, other than that, these deer are not going to see anything in that clover. Not gonna see it coming or going. Not gonna see it coming or going. <clears throat> Slip right in here. Boom. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. So now. The other thing I was able to do, and I'm still going to do some more if I got, uh, if I got the time today. Cody and I talked about going fishing this evening, trolling. Um, but I haven't heard if he can do that or not yet, so I'm not sure if I'll get any more done tonight or not. But if I do, uh, it's going to be the rest of the stuff on the strip. But I did knock down that tree finally, and some other ones I needed to get down. I had to clean all that up though. So, if I don't get to it today, I'll get to it next weekend. Once I get this cleaned up, and then I'm going to get it prepped for uh, planting for August. And I'm just going to plant the cereal grains for this year anyway. And then we'll go from there. Boom, baby. Love it. Love it, love it. 
see with that. The other thing I did is I had a piece of burlap camo. So I just added it to the shack. Kind of helped blend it in a little bit, I guess. All that dead stuff. The berm I built. Um, this past winter was stuff I cut down. Yeah. There's the strip. I think that's going to make this plot. A couple of apple trees down there. Oh, baby. All right, guys, I'll be talking with you.